In this video, I will show you how to customize a text invoice in Q&A Optimum Report Designer. First, let's choose an invoice to work on. Go to Sales, Sales Invoice. Let's pick this invoice. Now let's click on Design, then select a template to amend. I will choose Text Invoice. Now click on Amend. Now I would like to show you how to delete a row. For example, I would like to delete your PO number. So select the field and right click, select delete row. Now it is deleted. Let's say I would like to add a row above the terms field. So we will have to right click the terms field, go to insert, then select row above. The left field will be the title. Hence at the top right corner of the field, you will be able to see a small arrow. Click on the small arrow to open up the table cell task menu. And in the text field, we will rename it to our DO number. Now we would like to call the values to be displayed in the field next to the title. Click on the field and then click on the small arrow again. In the data binding field, note that to assign values of sales invoice header, select data under sales invoice. We will select our DO number. As you can see, there are many data values that you can choose from. So it's really up to you on which field you would like to show. Let's say we are not satisfied with the position of this block of information. We can select the block by highlighting it. Then use the keyboard arrows to move its position. Now, I would like to show you how to delete a column of data. Let's say in this report, I do not want to see the taxable amount, tax rate and GST amount. So just select the field, then right click and select delete column. Once you have done that, remember to delete the data value column at the bottom as well, else you will be only deleting the title of the column. If you are unsure of what field it is, simply click on the small arrow and the data binding field will show you which value it is displaying. Now that we have confirmed that this field is to be deleted, right click on it and select delete column. Let's say I would like to add a column to display UOM. Select on the unit price column, right click, select insert column to the left. Now let's rename the field to UOM. Remember to add the column at the details as well. So right click, then select insert column to left. To assign details of sales invoice values, select data under sales invoice. Sales invoice details collection. In this case, it is UOM, UOM code. We can also adjust the field size as well. Now, I would like to extend this column to the end of the page. So I will just have to move my cursor to the end of the field and drag it to the end of the page.
to display blank field, click on the small arrow again. Then at format string field, insert the following format. The values before the first semicolon represents the format for positive values. And the values after the first semicolon represents the negative values format. And the values after second semicolon is the format used when value is zero. In this case, it is blank. If your company is a wholly standard rated supply supplier, you might want to delete the GST summary as it is not relevant to you. Simply select the entire block, right click, then delete. Now at the notes section, you might want to edit the wordings here. Let's say I want to remove this sentence. Just right click on it and select delete. And as for this sentence, I would like to change the wordings. So select the field and click on the small arrow at the top right corner. Now edit the sentence in the text field. We can also change the wordings of this report. Let's say I would like to change the font size of stock code to 10. Just select the field and at the property grid panel under appearance, font, change the size to 10. Once we are satisfied, save the report by going to File, Save As, and give this report template a name, then Save. Remember, do not overwrite the existing template. Now close the Report Designer and the Invoice. Then open back the Invoice. Click on the preview menu and you'll be able to see the newly created template. Now let's preview the invoice using the new template. And this is the result of our customization. Now I would like to show you another scenario where we would like to display blank when the net amount is zero. Let's amend the new text invoice. And in here, click on the small arrow again. Add the formatting rules, click on the more button. Then click on the edit rule sheet and add a new rule. Input the following information according to the order. Now click on the newly created rule, then apply it, and click on OK. We should also apply the rule for the other columns. Let's preview it. And finally, this is the effects of the rule. As you can see, the amount for zero rated or exempted supply will still show. But for items that has no net amount, the fields that has applied the rules will display blank. Thank you for watching.